today I'm going to be telling you guys what my May favorites are. I usually don't do favorites videos, but there's been a couple of products that I've been using a lot lately, so I figured I'd just do a May favorites. Um, I'm going to try to do um, another video because I have some stuff I just wanted to show you guys. So kind of like a haul, maybe not a haul, but just some other products. So I'm going to jump right into my May favorites. Okay, first off, I want to start off with two products from the same brand, and it's Bobbi Brown. I have been loving the Tinted Moisturizer by Bobbi Brown. This is the oil-free one, and it has SPF 15 in it, and the shade I picked up was Dark Tint. Um, in the beginning, I was thinking it was a little bit too dark um, when I went online to ask them like what shade I might be if I was equivalent to a NC45 and MAC and the color she gave me was like medium or something and I was like eh, that might be a little bit too light um from the swatches that I saw so I decided to go with a gut instinct and I picked up dark tint and it works pretty good and then now that I'm getting more tan because of the summertime. I figured this will probably be good. I'm not wearing it right now. Right now, I just threw on some stuff, but I'm wearing Laura Mercier's oil-free tint and moisturizer. Might try to do a comparison between the two, but this one feels really good on the skin, and I picked up tan, the color tan. And I also wanted to point out the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. This is in deep, which is for deep number four and I really really love it I rarely like contour or anything like that but the couple of times that I've used it sorry it's a little bit like powdery but I really really like it the color is really good oh sorry I didn't mean to do that but the color this looks like this but it just goes on really nicely the color pigmentation is really good so I've been enjoying these two especially together Next, I wanted to talk about something that I got from, I think it's Lauren Beauty. I don't know if she's Australian or I'm not sure. But the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. This is magic. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can see the length that I'm getting on my eyelashes and the volume. Um, and I only did um, one coat just so I could put on something to film with. But this is an amazing mascara for $2.99. It's worth the money. I picked this up from Kmart. So you can't beat this mascara for $3. Um, the color is black. It only comes in one shade, which is black. And this is what the brush looks like. But it's, it's a dream on your eyelashes. So this is something that I really like. And you can just wear it by itself, even if you're not wearing makeup. Next, what I'm wearing in my tear duct right now, this is the... Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen, and I'm not sure what the color, oh, Oyster Glow, number nine, Oyster Glow. I'm really liking this. This is what the color looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very pretty on the eyes. Um, One time I actually wore it on the waterline, but it looked really pretty, and I'm also liking this. Next, the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. Um, I put this on today, and I've used it numerous times and it goes really good. It almost like fills in the lines pretty much so you don't get those cracks in your lips because I'm famous for that. My lips tend to get dry for no apparent reason. So I'm really, really liking this. It's like a balm type thing. It's retractable, goes up like this. You get a pretty good amount of product. And I specifically put it on under this because right now I'm wearing Max Riri Wu. I always have a hard time saying it, re, re, woo, right now. And I lined my lips with Max Vino Lip Pencil. Sorry if you guys can see my little creature that won't seem to go away. I've been fighting this for the past month, and it keeps reappearing. So thank you to Kevin O'Quan's Sensual Silk Skin Enhancer because it's been concealing this uh, critter. Um, next, I'm going to talk about two brushes that I've been using. First off, the Sedona Lace 928, which comes in with the Midnight Lace Kit. I've been applying my 
um, tinted moisturizer or foundation with this. Pretty much similar to the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, the F80. But um, I decided to try this one out for the past month and it's been really good. I'm really, really liking it. It really buffs anything in the skin really well. So if you didn't want to pay the Sigma price, Sedona Lace has... They've been having sales where you get like 20% off the brushes on like Fridays or like the end of the month. So I know I'm kind of late because the end of the month was yesterday. But they had a sale on them. But if you can catch a sale or even if you just want to try them, they're really, really good quality brushes for the price. Next, back to Sigma though. I'm going to talk, say the P80. This came with a precision like kit where you got like four brushes. But this is the P80, which is the Precision Flat. And I love this for spot concealing. I used it for my critter, again, that's on my face and the dark spots that I have random places. But I do usually dip it in the concealer and then, like, buff it in. But it does really well. I think you can see it, but it does really well for blemishes. Maybe once this goes down, it'll be even better. Next, I'm going on to the whitening lightning whitening pen this is really really good i don't want to get too close up on my teeth because i ate not too long ago but this is what people talk about and you just brush it on your teeth you turn this little dial and the product comes out in this brush and you just brush it on your teeth and let it sit this one i might try to try the zero whitening pen this is the regular one and it it does it leaves a nasty tasting in my mouth i'm gonna say that the product is really good it works really well but the taste that it leaves in your mouth is disgusting i'm just gonna put that out there and let i also wanted to point out this isn't a beauty product but this is my galaxy s3 case I want to say that I miss my iPhone dearly. I've been an iPhone user for a long time, but I do have an iPod, the new one, which is just like the phone, and this is my pretty little case that came from Target, and this is my baby's picture, a Christmas picture on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a glare, but I'm loving my iPod for the certain reasons, and this is my Samsung Galaxy s3 case i love like blinged out cases as you can see and this one is neat sometimes it gets on my nerves because it's like when you try to put your phone up to your ear it like blocks the speaker it's like i feel like i can't hear but this is my baby's picture you can't see that either but i love this case just for the fact that it's what's this leopard leopard i love the print i'm always into like brown and gold or whatever and i also wanted to point out a Michael Kors bag that my boo got me last year and I still love it. I brought it back out because it's spring and summer and because of the color but I'm always going to love this bag. It's great. I keep all my junk in there. Let me know if you guys want to see like a what's in my purse video because I keep a lot of junk in there as you can see. So I think that's about it for my May favorites. Uh, I don't wear makeup every day so I can't like I don't have like millions and millions of things to like talk about but that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll check you in the next video Bye.